Hey, this is James with Linspiration, and I was just in Washington, D.C. last week when the storm Jonas, the winter storm Jonas hit, and I happened to be able to be able to go outside and take some pictures, and I thought I would share one of the pictures that I took, and because I was working in Photoshop this time, I thought, this is going to be really difficult to put in words and in text and screenshots and that sort of thing. So I thought, why not just do it in a video? So I'm just going to show you what I did in Photoshop, um, what the original looked like, what the final product looked like, and then all the layers in between so that you can have fun yourself or use the techniques that I used in whatever program that you happen to have. So let's look down here at the final product. This right here is the picture that I finished. This is the finished product in Photoshop. And this was the original. Isn't it amazing the difference between these two? This one looks so much more bright and cozy and just some place that you would want to go. This can, it's got a lot of potential, but it's just dark. And there's a lot of this Distractions. The snow just isn't very clean looking. You can tell that we were out playing in the snow. But you ask, how did I make this picture the way it is? Well, first I started in Lightroom and I took a picture. Um, yeah, just, just took the raw image, did a few little tweaks on it to increase the brightness and make the sunset stand out a little better and then I pulled it over here into um, Photoshop and I brought in a darker sunset I just took two exposures here is my darker one right here and this one right here is my lighter one and in Photoshop I just kinda merged the two together and then up here I took out some distracting elements. See now how this right here, this this uh, pathway becomes much more of a leading line when all the distractions are removed. And to help even with that foreground to middle ground, I threw in some extra snow, some undisturbed snow, so that it would look much more clean and there we go. This was another picture that I had taken that day. And so I was looking around for some nice soft snow to put in my picture. And I came across this one. I thought this one would work pretty well. So I threw that picture in and covered up a lot of the distractions there. And it made this leading line look a whole lot nicer. And then I added some snow on the roof with a shadow to make it look a little more realistic. And there's even some, if you look in here, there's some texture in the snow up there. See here how there's texture in the snow? I want to make sure that there was still texture in there to make it look as realistic as possible. And then the most enjoyable part, I think, of the whole project was throwing in these windows. Doesn't that look just like a whole lot more comfy and cozy? So that was a fun, fun part right there. Just, uh adding this mask here. I thought that was pretty cool. I love that. And then overall I thought it needed brightened up a little bit. And then on top of that we threw in some text. Uh, this was the the theme verse that uh, we will be using for the Family Encouragement Weekends this year. That will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 1611. And it's amazing how well that fits right in here with this particular image that I actually almost didn't take. I remember sitting out in the snow. I'd been taking out I'd been taking pictures for at least an hour for the sunset and then walking up and down the driveway and road and, and you know, large property on a farm, a lot of place to walk around, deep snow to walk in. I was tuckered out. <laughs> and so I almost didn't take this picture. This is one of the last pictures I took that evening. But I'm glad that I did, and it really fits the verse well. So now you can kind of see why I decided to do a blog post as a video instead of as text. Just as you can see, there were so many comparisons and different facets and layers and so forth with my um, little Photoshop document here. So I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching, watching and uh, we will see you next time.